important part of the investigation centers around determining whether the two shooting victims fired a gun at officers. Gunshot residue tests will help make that determination. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk was invited into the BCI lab today to see how that testing is done, and she joins us live with more. What did you see, Chris? Lee, I traveled to Richfield today to the Bureau of Criminal Investigation, or BCI, to learn just how that determination is made about whether a gun was fired during that CPD shooting. This is inside the BCI, home to all kinds of crime scene evidence, tire tracks, shoe prints, even gunshot residue. When a firearm's discharged, there's this cloud of material that is expelled out of all the openings in the weapon. It's Marty Lewis's job to study that material from crime scene samples and determine whether a person was involved in a shooting. The forensic scientist performs gunshot residue tests at BCI's Summit County office nearly every day. It can be helpful in a lot of cases where we have no idea what happened. That's the big question in the Cleveland police high speed chase and shooting that left two people dead late last month. The gunshot residue test is a highly anticipated part of the investigation, which is led by this office. Lewis and his colleagues couldn't comment on their CPD findings, but they did talk about the process. The test itself is, I guess, somewhat simple. It starts with a gunshot residue collection kit at the scene. Criminal investigators use an adhesive tape to dab a suspect's hands for evidence of gunshot particles. We can also do it on other objects as well, such as clothing and cars. The samples are then sent to BCI, where manager Jeff Lewis oversees the testing process. Scientists analyze the samples using this high-tech microscope, sometimes within a matter of hours. But the results may leave a lot of unanswered questions. It only determines whether residue is present, not who fired the gun. Someone could be near a gun when it's discharged, but actually not be the shooter. I spoke to BCI today who says it'll take at least several months before they'll release any findings in this investigation, but I will keep you posted on that. From, from Live from the Justice Center, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5. Okay.